Disney Plus Day is happening right now and there's announcements left, right and centre for Marvel. I just want to talk about some of the titles, some of the shows that is coming to Disney Plus. Cannot wait for some of these. Some of them I'm not too excited for, one of them being Agatha, but I'll get into that in a second. But we got official looks at Moon Knight and She-Hulk. If you go to the Disney Plus app, there is panels for Marvel there. And you know what? Moon Knight looks fantastic and She-Hulk actually looks better than I thought it would. But let's talk about some of these titles, animated and live action. So let's get into this Agatha House of Arkness. Look, I don't know why this is happening. I'm not too excited for it. I did like Catherine Han in one division. I thought she was all right, pretty good. Not the best thing about the show. So it is a surprise that she's getting her own Disney Plus show. I suppose it will go through her origin story and probably make her into an anti-villain like Loki was or something like that. They'll probably bring her back at some stage as a good guy to help maybe Wanda or help her in Doctor Strange 2 Multiverse of Madness. The next one is Secret Invasion. Look, I do not like the scrolls whatsoever. I hate the look of them. I just think it's terrible. But I will watch this show, obviously. But I'm excited for it because Samuel L. Jackson is involved. I don't think it's going to be direct adaptation of the source material but that's okay they'll do something different but Samuel L. Jackson's involved so I can't be that bad it'll always be entertaining watching him I did not like Captain Marvel at all I hate that movie it's it's bottom of the pile for Marvel for me but it was watchable just because of Samuel L. Jackson the logo is a little bit kind of makes me sick as well <laughs> I'm not too excited for this show at all Secret Invasion even though the source material is amazing it's just a shame that they can't do that exactly but I'm sure this will be watchable. Got Ben Mendelsohn's in it as well. Got terrific actors involved. So hopefully the script is good. Now, guys, Fox. Oh my God, Marvel Zombies is happening. I'm a huge zombie fan. If you follow the channel, Walking Dead, love it so much. Army of the Dead from Zack Snyder. But Marvel Zombies, yes, yes, yes. I'm wondering, will this be canon or will it be connected to the What If Zombie episode? I love that episode. Probably my favorite of the entire series. I just love zombies, and to see that mixed with my one of my favorite genres superheroes it's just awesome to me so i got my two favorite genres zombies and superheroes mixed together i don't care that's animated it's just happening and that is exciting so what direction could they go i don't know do something fun do something well we've never seen anything like this before and that's what we want from all these comic book movies and shows something different something unique and this right here is pretty unique unbelievable so looking forward to this one big time the next one is Ironheart. Not too familiar with the source material. I think this is only a comic book that was created in the last few years. So, you know, there's not much to delve into, but I think this character is a young girl who is kind of inspired by Tony Stark and Iron Man, so she starts building her own Iron Heart at home. I think that um War Machine Rhodey will be in this series as well, maybe to guide her, maybe he's related to her, I don't know. But yeah, I'll give this a watch. Should be a sweet one, especially for kids, but it's it's connected to the Iron Man kind of universe and what Tony Stark left behind. The next one is I Am Groot. Yeah, this one should be cute, it should be fun. I don't know if James Gunn's involved, or maybe he is involved. I'm not too sure. I don't think so. He's doing the Christmas maybe he will be, I don't know. He's doing the Christmas special and he's doing Guardians Tree, of course. But yeah, Groot's a very likable character, and of course this is a big toy seller for them as well. So for them to do a show on Disney Plus isn't a surprise whatsoever. This will hit big kids will watch it i'll probably watch it as well just to see it but Groot's such a cute character now this one that nobody knew about was spider-man freshman year which is going to be an animated spider-man show or movie i'm not too sure but of course spider-man will be in freshman year and i wonder will this be canon to the mcu will it be involved in something like what if like what where does this stand sony of course is allowing it to happen as well and they've got huge success with spider-man into the spider-verse and the sequel for that is coming as well so interesting enough now They've got a number of live action Spider-Man projects and animated. Echo, the Daredevil universe is expanding. The rumours about maybe Daredevil coming into the MCU and that leaked photo he is. He's going to be in Spider-Man 3 and there's rumours that Kingpin will be in the Hawkeye series and that Echo will feature these characters as well. So this is a character who I think is, is, did she appear in the Daredevil show or maybe she in the comics they're kind of related or whatever. I'm not too familiar but Echo is daredevil daredevil kingpin it's all connected it's all connected so we will get to see that universe come back it looks like the netflix world is not direct canon but those actors who played those roles will be all coming back so that's awesome i can't wait for that what if season two look what if season one was watchable it's an easy watch some great episodes some mid episodes some 
terrible episodes like the Thor one but you know what it's an easy watch there's some cool concepts there it's, it's cool to see what if I think the Watchers are a pretty cool character Doctor Strange was brilliant in it the zombie episode was cool you know so yeah I'll give them a shot for season 2 and see what they can do uh, I would like a little bit more kind of uniqueness and a little bit more risks with it but overall the animation style was fantastic and Marvel Studios have opened up their own animation division so we will see a lot more animation from them in the next few years they've killed live action can they kill it at animated level they've yet to do it but it's marvel kevin faye it's probably gonna go in that direction the next one is miss marvel we already knew about this one anyway but it's been pushed back actually it was supposed to come out this year and there was talk of early 2022 but now it's been pushed back to q4 of 2022 which is the end of the year so we're nearly a year away from watching this show which is kind of a spin-off and connected to the captain marvel movie universe so yeah i'll give it a watch i don't like captain marvel whatsoever or brie larson in the role but whatever she hulk which is coming i think in february or march of next year we get to see tatiana maslan maslani i think play she hulk which is awesome and we actually got a first look at the Disney Plus Day, which I'll do a video about, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. I think Mark Ruffalo is supposed to be in it. There's rumors that Abomination will be in it. So, and Red Hulk, and they're building that Hulk universe where maybe Mark Ruffalo's Hulk will be doing uh, his own solo film, World War Hulk. So, we'll have to see how that goes. Then, Moon Knight, starring Oscar Isaac. This character has multiple personalities. It's a very dark character, dark source material. So, can they bring that to live action? The teaser we got it. At Disney Plus Day was fantastic. I'll do a video about that as well. Oscar is a great actor. He's a franchise guy. Terrific. Can't wait to watch this. And it looks like a very dark show. And it should be a dark show. Of course, like every Marvel property, there will be humor. But just by the cinematography that we got to see, it looks so, so dark. So looking forward to that one. Big, big time. And then the next one, which is amazing. We're getting a sequel to the X-Men series from the 90s. X-Men 97. I think it's a sequel. So that's awesome. Many fans are excited for over this because they love that animated show. It was a huge hit. The soundtrack, the music is iconic. It's terrific. You can still listen to it today. It's just amazing. So this is Marvel getting back into the X-Men franchise before they start bringing them into the live action world. Maybe in Doctor Strange 2 or maybe Spider-Man 3 or maybe down the line the Fantastic Four movie. I don't know, but it's exciting. But guys, those are all of the animated and live action shows and movies that's coming to Disney Plus. Awesome. Pretty cool stuff there. What are you excited for? What do you not care for? I can't wait for Marvel Zombies and X-Men 97. I don't really care for Agatha or Miss Marvel. But maybe you disagree. Let me know below. Give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel guys. Really appreciate it. Come follow me on Twitter at Movies That Matter. Guys, see you in the next video. Keep an eye out for the She-Hulk and Moon Knight videos. Thanks for watching.